Hello everybody, this is FC7. Today I'm going to do a part 2 video on soloing in the Hardcore Heritage version of Old Seb. The first video concentrated on these six mobs at the entrance. Well, today we're going to solo in the crypt. And I'll show you how to get there if you're unfamiliar with the zone. Be aware that this is a very camped area. Probably the best camp in the zone. So it's probably rare to find it open, so be sure to do your camp check before you come here. And you'll need a way to pick the lock to get through the locked door. In my case, I have my alt rogue. And odds are there'll be C and Viz mobs at this very spot. So what you'll need to do to get around them, if you choose not to solo them, is to make yourself invulnerable. And there's plenty of ways to do it. In my case, I have a clicky that I'll use. So you just run through them, feign death, or death's effigy, which will clear aggro altogether. So now that we're through there, basically this whole area behind the locked door is easy for a necromancer to solo. And I'll show you some examples quick. So we'll run through here. And here we have a group camping the crypt area, but we're not going to like concentrate on the mobs up above where they are. We're just going to concentrate on the mobs in the tunnels. Be sure to have your AA rest the dead up. It'll help a lot. You might want to have your AA slow as well, but well, the way we're doing this, you probably won't need to slow the mobs. So here we have two undead skeletons. Click on the one in the farthest back and just rest the dead him. That'll make his aggro range so low that you can pull a mob next to him without getting social aggro. So have your pet attack him, press persistent paralysis, and start your dot rotation. And having been solo in here for the past few days, I haven't found any mobs that summon back here behind a locked door except one and it's called the Skeletal Duke. But he only seems to spawn in one spot behind the second locked door. So all these mobs should be okay to root rot without worrying about being summoned. I'm trying to think of any last notes that I want to add. Really it's just coming back through the locked door and soloing every undead mob back here. Okay, some final thoughts before I end this series of videos, because this will probably be the last video I'm doing on the Hardcore Heritage events. Overall, it was a really fun event. I'm really glad that the developers put so much thought and effort into creating a high-level version of this zone. It's a classic. I thought that um, it was good for both groupers and the soloers, as well as raiders. I saw a lot of raiders in here. Um, there are a couple issues that I had. Number one being the itemization seemed a little bit off. As you can see, I'm linking two robes. The robe on the left is what I'm assuming is the best grouping caster robe that drops in the zone. And the itemization is a little bit strange. Um, increases your melee damage by 25% is like the spell effect. Um, historically, casters don't melee. They are what is called ranged DPS, which means you stand back and cast spells. You don't go up in melee. I don't know if the developers were having some fun with this or if they were like trolling us. But the AC is good, the hit points and mana are good. It's just not going to be an upgrade because of the effect on my old rogue, which is called the Rage of Night Fang and that increases damage done by Pyre of Jarab and Swift Sickness by 5%. There's no way I can give that up. Unless they mislabeled it and it was meant to be for your pet, increases your pet damage by 25%. But even that would be a little bit overpowered. I honestly don't know who would wear a robe like this if you were a necromancer. Maybe it's good for an enchanter or mage. So I just looked it up and the robe that I'm wearing is actually from the Darkened Sea, which was released a few years ago. So, yeah, I need to upgrade, but it won't be for this robe. <laughs> I guess I've been meaning to upgrade. Gear doesn't mean a lot to me these days. I really don't care what I wear as long as uh, it has a few hit points and mana and focus effects. 
Um, but yeah, looking at it, I think the um, the group version of the robe should be a little bit better dropping an old sub. So that should just about do it. Everybody have a good rest of your week, and I'll make some more videos soon.